Yeah, it's me again. I'm back, back on the roof. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to take off my test panels here for my workbench. I really like this little console there, a little switchboard on my workbench and I can test batteries and charge controllers and always have 20 or 40 volt available from, this, from these two panels here. And I don't know where to put them. But I need this space for the upgrade here on the east roof because there will be uh, three more panels, one more string coming on here as well. I'll show you something. Here, here. This is, this is the solar production from today. 3.4 kilowatt hours. It's not too bad for winter, yeah? considering all the shading and we had some clouds this morning. That's why it was so high. Here, have a look. Yesterday, 2.3 kilowatt hours. <laughs> I mean, this is a 3.5 kilowatt solar system now. And we're getting 2.3 kilowatt hours a day. Last seven days. Look at this. 21 kilowatt hours in one week. 21. And here, even, even worse. 30 days. 104 in one month. And you can see how the curve goes. You know, every day a little bit lower. Because the sun is still going on a lower angle. We are approaching winter time now in... Um, next week. Begin of winter is next week. But... In, in 25 days, we've got the lowest position of the sun here in Australia. And from then on, we should see the opposite. We should see the curve going up again. We should see more and more solar production every day again. So interesting. But as I said, yeah, these two babies, they need to go. They need to go somewhere else. And I don't know where to put them yet. Okay, I'll figure something out. Ah, look at this beautiful installation here. Okay, let's take them off. Yeah, here we've got the cables. And I've used MC4 connectors here. How good is that? I didn't remember that. Okay, I've got all the MC4 connectors disconnected now. It required three different tools to get this done. You can imagine. <laughs> Going up and down the ladder. <laughs> this is my main job, really. cannot get the optimal angle at the moment. The sun is too far down already. I just want to test these panels before we shift them onto the roof. Just to, uh, just to make sure they are working at all and they are working the same way. But they should be fine. They are sharp panels, you know, made in Japan. 35.2. The uh, display is only flickering in the camera. Do an auto MPPT test. 76 watts only of 215. 2.3 amps only out of seven it should have that's not much 100 watts Okay, let's try this a bit steeper. Yeah, still not good But this is this is the late afternoon Sun we have now So that's a very bad angle and you can see it's between the, the trees uh, We don't have any shading here at the moment. I should have cleaned them They look like sh oh, we've got shading up there there we go. It's 140 and 143 watts <laughs> straight away. There was a tiny bit of shade from one of the branches up there. Jeez, it makes a big difference. Yep, now they're performing well. 150 watt in these conditions and 5.5 amps. Totally fine. So I'll try the other two as well. And if they are all good, they're going up on the roof. I need to swap these MC3 connectors the panels come with, with MC4 so they fit my system.
camera. The camera is in the way. The camera. You can hardly see it. Uh, we have now mounted both rails here. Everything is tightened. Ah, oh, look at the ponies. They're waiting for dinner. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. Well, we've got the solar panels up here. We've got the rail system ready. So we can mount them at any time. I've got all the clamps here. They have been delivered this week. I need to replace some clamps over there actually because these are only 35 millimeters but it's a 40 millimeter panel the bracket is just on an angle now got everything here also what i found when i tested the um, solar panels before i pu put them up here on the roof i had the feeling the um, the spat is not working correctly anymore so i think i need to uh, calibrate a new one <laughs> it's time friends it's time <laughs> Well, I just don't hope we get a storm tonight or something. They're just lying on the roof now. Ah, should be fine. Yeah, I'm not sure if this one is working correctly here. I'll better get a new one, huh? I still haven't had a call from Oettinger. Guys, what's wrong? I'm making advertising for you all the time here. And the solar panel tester here for the win. That's a really amazing, awesome device. I like it. Link down below. Do you know these days when there's so much to do, there's so much work and you pretty much get nothing done? Today is one of these days. So, um, yeah, well, situation. Before we can mount these solar panels on these rails here, I have to shift these two strings further that way. So they are lining up with the other ones there. We need to do this so we can get five strings on the garage here. I was a bit too generous here with the space in between and the and the whole alignment of these strings, but now I'm paying the price for it. I have to shift them over by 15, 20 centimeters. Yeah, centimeters. Ask your wife. And the problem is not shifting the solar panels over. That's very easy. But I have to undo all the cables down in the rail. They're all zip tied to the rail system. And then I can shift them and then I have to redo all the cabling down there. The only good thing is I can still leave the solar panels connected to the system. So you're still pushing energy into the battery. I told you, it's one of these days, one hour later. We've got now enough space to mount the last string of solar panels here on this side of the east roof. So this will be the 200, 215, yeah, I think here, yeah, 215 watt sharp panels made in Japan. Ah, I just realized this is the old entrance here from the test solar panels I had on the roof here. And I want to use this one for the cable entry for this string 
and the two other strings. So there will be six times four square millimeter cable going through, but this is not enough. So I need to get this one off here and and then drill up this hole so we can fit a 32 millimeter conduit through it. And my favorite tool. That's a f up. <laughs> I cannot use I cannot use this hole here. I can look down on my workbench. I need to drill on the other side of the screw over here. So we stay we stay under the cloth at the ceiling. Because otherwise it will come down directly at the wall and then I have to go back in the ceiling. They have such a bend in the conduit, there's no way I can push any cable through there later on. This needs to be closed again and I need to put a new one in somewhere over here. Here it is. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, this is good. And I have to cover up these ups here. Piece of metal, silicon. It's nothing to see here. There you go. I need super, super wide angle now on the camera to get this all in one shot. All right, we are feature complete. We have now maxed out both solar charge controllers on the east roof and on the west roof. Well, once this is connected. And uh, this in total is around four kilowatt peak now, I think. <laughs> in the winter time, I need every panel I can get. Every panel. You can see the shading here is insane, right? But then you know in summertime the sun will be almost straight above us and we will have so much sunshine. These two strings there, which I had installed uh, at the beginning, they are making around 6 kilowatt hours a day. These two strings per day. So if this is 6 and this other 3, so plus another 9 kilowatt <laughs> So it will be over 15 kilowatt hours a day. This is, this is the battery. This is one, one, one full cycle from the battery coming just from the solar in summertime then. Well, actually not only in summertime, in springtime already. We've got another 20, 23 days and then we have the lowest angle of the sun, which is right there at the moment. And from then it will go up again. Yesterday I made only two kilowatt hours the whole day. If it's purely sunny, that's bad. You've got only one point of light then and lots of shading. But if it's cloudy, just a bit cloudy, it, it diffuses your light from the sun and you get far more, far more power from the solar panels than here. So I actually love these cloudy days in winter time then. Okay, this is all we have time for today. We've got an invitation for a barbecue this afternoon, so we are going in half an hour. Well, as I said before, huh? it's one of these days. Lots of work and not much get done. Well, on the other hand, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy now with this result here. Install these panels, just need to wire them up and then we get more power. Okay guys, see you tomorrow when we get this done. Hello. Is it day three or four? I can't remember. What is going on here? Look at all this here. Look at there. There's everywhere. What is going on here? Do they have a party here in the night? There are no branches, nothing, no tree, nothing. But shit everywhere. All right, I'm in the final stages of um, cabling our last string here. 
I have pulled through the cables from inside the garage. So our most positive, yeah, most positive goes up here. Most negative is down there. And then I cable tie the cables on the rail system. And then we will have beer. Now that's a bit early. Now then we are done on the roof so far. Ah, the birds are chasing the cat. This is our most negative connection from the solar string here. I'll leave this disconnected until we have everything ready connected down in the garage. And then this is the final step because otherwise you will have 150 volt on the cables. You don't want that. You don't want to have 150 volt DC on these cables when you work on them. You still get some amps? Come on, 21 watts. Show it to me. Nah, it's too late. So far this video for the last four or five, six, seven days or something, it feels like a week. I was working on this East Roof upgrade. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support here, for all your beer donations. Stay charged, stay safe. And we shall see us again in the next video coming out very soon. Thanks again for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>